I'm sitting here today with Thomas O'Neill, Pulse producer in the television world. Thomas, can you tell me a little bit about your background that got you into Pulse production today? Well, after high school, I went to school for television broadcasting, came out of that and worked as a master control operator for quite some time, went back to school for a postgraduate in post-production, and then came out of there working as a post-supervisor. What are you currently working on in this industry? For the show we're working on now, uh, Destination Baja Sur, a friend of mine I went to college with years ago, it was like 10 years ago, hooked me up with this job. He goes out, he shoots the show with our host on location, comes back, hands me a hard drive. He doesn't even like to do paperwork, he's dyslexic. So he just goes, here, do post, which is great. In this industry, is it better to be salary or is it better to be on freelancing? Depends on your personality type, really. Uh, working salaried, uh, being a a kind of either unionized or part-time or full-time for a network. It, it does have its benefits. You got your job security, you know where your next paycheck's coming from. Freelance is a hustle. Thank you for coming, Thomas. Is there any advice you'd like to give to future graduates? Sure. When you leave school, you're going to be looking for a job. You should be, at least. When you look for a job, there's going to be a lot of people here, especially in Toronto, looking to take advantage of your new grad status. Uh, if you want to go serve coffee somewhere, go do it at Starbucks. They're going to help you out a little bit more than a production house. If you go work as an unpaid intern somewhere, make sure you're actually doing the work you were trained to do. There are laws in place in Canada. They're here to support you. Make sure that these companies aren't taking advantage of you.